Hello, welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to the end of a day. I just finished, I just needed to end the last vlog because it was way too much content. So here we are. I'm getting ready for a girl's night. This is the cost t-shirt that I was gonna return and I did not return. I do not recommend it for the price point, but like I have yet to find a t-shirt that looks good on me. I find that the material, sometimes it's like too hangy on me. What do we think? I kept it, I don't know, but I will link it down below in case you're interested. And then these pants, my sister gave me, and I think she said she got them at Walmart. They're men's pants. Let me move this. Oh, the damage she has done this weekend. Signature Levi's stretch, but they're men's, and they're kind of cargo-y, and look, my sister was like, I'm gonna put a hammer on the side of your pants. Imagine if I was like, walking into girls night with like a hammer on my, on the side of my pant. Hey ladies. Literally though. It's gonna be cold out. It's gonna be like 20 something degrees tonight. And I don't think it's, I was thinking like this outfit with a leather biker jacket, but it's not like leather jacket season. I'm wearing pleather pants. I just feel as though I am ready for the spring for sure, but I wanna get my winter clothes in as much as I can. This is like, I feel like this is very fall winter, this necklace, so let's get that in. You know, this bag would look fabulous with this outfit. It really would. It adds to the vibe. Do we just wear her? I feel like it kind of brings the black, the cream, the tortoise all together. Wow. It's a vibe, but let me make sure. Let me go try some other bags on. Anyone else feel like they're forever organizing and just like nothing ever, nothing ever gets organized. It's just a forever adult task. Jeez. This is the problem. All of my bags live up high and I keep them all in duster bags. So I just, I can't like see. And even though I know all the bags that I own, I just wanna be able to like walk in and like see this beauty. It's rock and roll with the studs, but it's too pink, I think. That rhymed, oh my God, so funny. Yesterday, no, two nights ago, I went to my sister-in-law's house and we had dinner and I hung out with my nephews for a little bit before they went to bed. And I was talking to my older nephew. I was like rhyming and he thought it was so funny. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. And he thought it was hysterical and I just kept going. And so now every time I rhyme, I think of him. Also like, do I sell this? I never wear this. I feel like it's a vibe. Like it could go with this outfit. I might sell this, my Alexander Wang, which is like a moment in time. This is like the designer bag that started my addiction to designer bags. We don't need to go over all my bags. I feel like I'm forever doing like a bag unboxing on this channel. Do I do my Chanel? Maybe I do my Chanel, but like, I feel like this is a little bit too nice for like this outfit. Like it's not grungy enough. Does that make sense? I need a grungier bag. I feel like the hobo is the best bag. Not the blue one, not my YSL, cause that has silver in it. Do I go with my Fendi bag? I don't feel like that's really the vibe either, but let's try it because I do love her. No, that's my YSL. Let's see, do you see? This is so annoying. Excuse me while I go run upstairs and grab a bag 20 minutes later because I just, nothing is accessible to me. Okay, I think the YSL bag that I just bought goes better, but I think I'm gonna hold out and not use it yet. I think we're gonna use this. Let me go get the other one. 25 minutes into the vlog, she finally picked out her outfit and her bag. This is daytime, I feel like, but I also think it pulls it together, whereas this is cute. We're going with this bag. I don't even know if I said it to you. The cat and the dog, the children are fighting. So I ran down here to break up the fight. I just wanted to share with you what's on my lips. I have Bobbi Brown. Look at how cute though. I'm sharing this because I'm just obsessed with the nubs that they are. I have a mini lipstick. This is Mocha in Mac. And then I have Bobbi Brown that, I think my aunt gave this to me forever ago, but this is in lip pencil number nine. I think it's called Natural. Mike would be so mad at me if he were here. I do this thing where I'm so busy and I feel like a lot of people can relate to this, but I get so distracted during the day with waking up, <clears throat> enjoying my coffee, doing like my hobbies and then like filming where I'll like have one meal during the day, but like a very quick meal. Like today I just had grilled chicken and tricolor pasta that was just in the fridge and I picked at it for a little bit. I had two cups of coffee, water, and then this is what I always do, like an hour and a half, before we're gonna eat, I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. And then I have a protein shake or a snack. And then my husband's like, we're going to eat. Are you even gonna be hungry? 
Uh, no, I'm not gonna be that hungry. I'll still eat though. All right. I'm off. As always, I'm running late. I have my little DKNY jacket on. I'll show you her really quick. It's just like a coat. I think my mom bought it for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. I don't know why I feel like the need to show you my outfit. It's just like a little pea coat. I don't know. Macy's on sale. And really quickly, I was wearing a DKNY dress the other day and this woman complimented me and was like, oh, where did you get your dress? And I wasn't sure if it was DKNY, but I was like, oh, check the tag. So I was like, here, check the tag. And she was like, oh, I've never heard of Dickney. It's DKNY. I mean, she was definitely in her 20s, but like I had that shake, so I'm really not hungry, but I could go for a glass of wine. This one, terrible. Okay, not as bad as yesterday, but not as good as my baristas. Wait. Right, you just want to bite me. I just filmed my favorites of February and yeah, I tried to like get into the swing of things today. I tried to do my morning routine. I journaled, which I always date my journal entries and prior to today I hadn't journaled in like a week. That wasn't great, but I'm glad that I did it today. I walked on the treadmill for an hour. I wanted to do another workout, but then I don't know what happened. The day just like kind of got away from me. Again, a broken record, but I'm really struggling. I have a lot of anxiety this weekend. Girls night last night was fun, except for the fact fact that, you know, I just feel like there's a lot going on in life and it's very stressful. I kind of had a little anxiety after because of like unfortunate events that have happened to other people and it's just sad and I don't know, I just, I feel, I don't want to say this because I feel like this is exasperating my anxiety, but I feel like this is a really weird time in the world. Miss when things were like simpler and I just, my husband and I talk about this a lot, but it's like, when is it going to get better? And just like each year, it just seems to get harder with like life and just like things that get in the way and like stressors and the world is just a very weird place right now and I feel very unsettled and I don't like my husband being so far away from me although again like I it's not that I'm lonely I have like my family I don't want to say anything because like god forbid so I'm not I'm not saying anything but the worry that just like has me up here and I can't like bring it down like I'm trying to take deep breaths I'm trying to zen, I've been doing yoga, but mm, she's a little crazy, she's a little crazy. It's come to the hour on Sunday. It's really Monday, but it's like my Sunday because today's a holiday and I have to go to work tomorrow. But it's become the hour that it seemingly always becomes for me where it's like, I'm just such a procrastinator, really. Truly, that is who I am deep down, it is my being. What time is it? It's 4.15 and it's kind of like, Am I running errands? Am I not running errands? I said I wasn't running errands, but now that it's like the final hour, I feel compelled to. I really need to return something at UPS. I need to return the stuff that I bought at Ulta, which I don't know if you heard, but 
The stuff that I bought at Ulta, I bought two lipsticks and a sunscreen. I need to check the sunscreen. But the two lipsticks look very used. I also realized that I ran out of dry cat food for my Sanjour. I'm thinking I'm gonna run to UPS, then I'm gonna go to PetSmart, then I'm gonna go to Ulta, and then I'm gonna go to ShopRite. I think I'm gonna make salmon tonight because I really like salmon, but Mike doesn't eat salmon, so I never make it. Also, this is the fit, and I know I said I wanted to wait for Mike to wear this bag, but I am having a day. And when I say I'm having a day, it's like all the other freaking days that I'm having where I'm just anxious and I'm upset. So, I, I mean, things make me happy. And this bag makes me very happy. I don't know if this is like the best fit to intro this bag to the world in, but I have my Amazon Roria turtleneck, long sleeve, crop top, my MCM belt that I've had forever. Honestly, you want a gag? I bought this because I needed a belt and it was an M. And I, you know, this is when Mike and I were dating. Not that I wouldn't buy it now, they're married, but I was like, oh, M Michael, so cute. I have these jeans. I think they're Mackenzie. My sister literally gave me like eight pairs of jeans yesterday. My Forever 21 Bomber, which I get so many compliments on this color. It's so good. And my YSL bag. And my lip, I changed my lip. I was wearing in the NYX Dirty Talk, but I saw Victoria McGrath wearing this lipstick and I own this lipstick, but I never wear it. And so she inspired me to wear it. It just looks so like jutsy on her and I love the packaging. It's so bougie and so pretty. This is the Afterglow Essential Shine Lipstick in Breathless. I don't know. It's like a light peachy pink, but it feels very comfortable on the lips. All right, let's go run some errands. Please stop peeing on the floor, please. I picked up so much pee. Like she peed 17 times on the floor today and God knows I love her, but like I'm tired of cleaning up the pee and then like washing my hands. Oh, guys, I feel crazy. Oh, do I just need a minute? Mike, if Mike were here, he would tell me, just take a deep breath. I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna pet my bag. I feel like my heart is like racing and I feel like there's an elephant sitting on my chest. I was looking into therapy this week. My girlfriend told me to look into clarity therapy, but I don't feel like spending a lot of money on therapy right now, even though I know that the best investment I can make is on myself. I know that, but I want to do something like through my insurance and clarity only offers in person through insurance. And I kind of want to have like a virtual option because you know, I commute and I have a full-time job and all that stuff. And between commuting, working, vlogging, yoga-ing, PT-ing. It's just, I can't imagine like having children in the mix. Like, I don't know how people do it, but yeah, I need to like really find a therapist. The crying to my husband and the journaling can only take me so far. I think I need to speak to a professional. Any recommendations, let me know. I don't know, I don't even know how one recommends a therapist or how that works. Like I said, my girlfriend told me to try out Clarity therapy and it sounded good, but I just, I don't wanna spend, I don't wanna spend that kind of money right now because I like spending my money on handbags. Like how does any of this make sense? I don't know. I just feel really crazy. And honestly, I knew that a new year wasn't gonna make me less crazy, but I was hoping that I would feel different than how I'm feeling right now. But I feel like journaling and all of this stuff, and I've said this before, and I'm honestly just like babbling has just like opened a can of worms. I feel very unsettled and uncomfortable in my self. And I feel like nothing is really going right but also nothing is going terribly wrong. Does that make sense? I just need an easy period of my life. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but I have these conversations with you to make myself feel better, but also to like let you know that if you're someone that's struggling right now, like you're not alone. I've always struggled with anxiety my entire life. Ask my mother. I've always been a very anxious person and I felt like it was always to my advantage, my anxiety, except recently. I feel like ever since my dad got sick and died. Like this is a whole different kind of anxiety that I'm not used to. The anxiety that I've always had is like, what can I be doing right now to better myself, to better my future? And just like that constant pressure that I put on myself, that has always been a constant in my life. I've always been that way. Worrying and playing out scenarios in my head. That is literally what anxiety is. But it's always worked to my advantage because I've always pushed myself to, I've used that anxiety to, as like, kind of like riding a wave. like to get to the next stage of my life in my career and all that kind of stuff. But 
now I'm just like worried that something terrible is gonna happen again and like this is a new kind of anxiety. So I have death anxiety and I have self-pressure anxiety and I just feel like I'm gonna implode. Yeah, it's a fun time. I totally lost track of time. Went to PetSmart, got broken food because I ran out of dry food today. Also bought wet food. Then I went to Ulta, returned my things. Asked me why, I bought a ton of lip products. I will show you. And then I went to ShopRite and now it's 7.50 and I haven't eaten dinner. My plan was to go to bed early and decompress, but yet here I am. I'm gonna do a little ShopRite haul, not of everything. Just like I got some fun things. Let me make this while I talk to my mom. My mom's calling me. these plant-based tonics honey rose nourish and restore with antibiotics antioxidants antibiotics so yeah this looks really good i'm gonna chill this for work tomorrow got two different kinds i'm gonna try them lavender bliss calm nerves and reduce stress which i probably should have bought i bought four i probably should have bought all four in this bag. and then you know i'm a sucker for marketing Sucker for marketing. True Beauty Glow Blend, raspberry flavored. It has collagen peptides, which you all know I love, hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, biotin, and raspberry juice. But I mean, collagen peptides, it only has three grams of protein. I figured we could try this and I'll let you know, but I like the packaging. This lighting is terrible. How do we fix this? That's so much better, is it not? I don't know, honestly. Gold thread, I'm excited for that. I don't know if you care about almond butter, but I love this almond butter. We haven't had it, cause I finished it, but this is Mara Maranatha almond butter. So freaking good, so freaking excited. In case you missed the memo, I am the pop chip queen. Barbecue is my favorite. I wanted to give you a little rundown of all of my Shobani creamers. I know I influenced some of you to buy this. I recently tried cookies and cream. I would never, no, this is cookie dough. I don't like this. My husband bought it, he likes it. I tried it today in my coffee because it was the only one I had left, aside from vanilla, which I also don't really love. So this is just too, I'm not a cookie dough kind of gal and it's a little sweet. And then this, the vanilla, I also don't like. I only drink the actual coffee creamers with real dairy. I don't drink the plant-based ones because the plant-based ones have oil seeds in them and that wreaks havoc on oh my gut. I can't drink them. So these are my least favorite. A new one, I've never tried this, but we're gonna try it. It's Caramel Macchiato, Starbucks vibes. We'll probably try this one tomorrow. This is limited edition and I really like this. This is a cinnamon coffee cake. I didn't like it at first, but it grew on me. I'll let you know how this is. I will give you feedback on the caramel macchiato, but right now, like I said, the cinnamon coffee cake is divine. <laughs> Hey, Brogan, be nice. No fighting. The two of them just fight nonstop. I got Kodiak cakes. I don't know. I really want a pancake. And I really also like want to eat healthy and these have protein in them. So I figured it was like a good compromise. White cheddar. I like this brand, Lesser Evil. I've never tried the white cheddar, saw this. Our ShopRite does not have white cheddar. I think they only have Himalayan salt. And then I got chocolate rice cakes. I love rice cakes. If there's one dieting food I absolutely adore, it is a rice cake. I'm thinking, well, this is what I do. I put cottage cheese with a drizzle of honey on it. I would do the almond butter and a banana. My salmon's about to be done. So let me put this away. Let's eat dinner and like try to chill. I feel very hyper for someone who's supposed to be chilling. And I'll show you what I bought at Ulta. Also not to be a coffee snot, but we all know that I am a coffee snot. This is the best coffee, Maxwell House breakfast blend light. I used to love Melita, but they stopped making it. And my husband tried to trick me and bought this because it was on sale and I'm not drinking this. So we will save this for when we have company and feed it to the company because I refuse. Well, my salmon isn't done and I'm starving. So I made chickpea pasta. It has a little bit more protein than normal pasta. I cut up some tomatoes and this is what I'm eating. I wanted to eat this with my salmon, but life happens. I got tomato sauce on me because there is never a time where I eat food and I don't get food on me. I really like this woman, Lizelle Jean Starrydum. I don't think I said her name right, but I will link her channel down below. She does a bunch of meal preps 
And like I said, I gotta get rid of these, but I don't really feel like making banana bread. I don't know. I feel like I like eating banana bread with my husband. I feel some type of way. So I'm gonna make this like blueberry oat bake. So I got a pan right here. I'm gonna mash up my two bananas and I'm just gonna follow along her recipe. I honestly don't even know if I have blueberries, so that might be an issue. And I probably should have found this recipe before I spent an hour and a half at ShopRite today, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna do, I feel like that's like a quarter cup. Thoughts? I don't know. Okay. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, well, wow, would you look at that? I actually have blueberries. I love this bag. Oh my God. I took her out. We had our first outing. I was sad. Michael wasn't there, but I just feel like she looks like me. Like, I feel like this is me in a bag. I really need to decompress. I think we all know I need to decompress because I am like up here, like out of the frame and I need to be like down here. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. I don't really feel like swatching them though. I'm gonna do like an unboxing video. Um, so I, don't, I bought a lot of e.l.f. lipsticks. Why? Why? Because I'm just so obsessed with them. The O Face lipsticks. I bought, did I buy four? <laughs> no, I bought three and then I bought a lip um, oil because they came out with lip oils, but I bought Own It, which is like a deep shade. So these are all the O Face e.l.f. I think they're like $9. Standing ovation, which I feel like I need a standing ovation for simply getting through the last few days of my life. No doubt which is like a beigey peach. And I got the Glow Reviver Lip Oil in Rose Envy. I don't know. There weren't a lot of these left and I just had to try it. Oh my God, I got two lip oils. I also got Honey Talks, a pink and a brown. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna try them. I'm gonna let you know. And then uh, this NARS lipstick in Touch Me. It's like a darker lipstick and I really wanted to try it. Yeah, this color, wow, 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 wow. I had all these lip swatches on my hand and I was like, dear Lord, we already saw what I did with the tomato sauce. I need to take this top off and tide pen it. But I was like, oh, I'm gonna get lipstick all over my bag. I wish this wasn't silver though. I don't know why. Again, I don't need any lipsticks. I need to stop shopping. I need to stop buying makeup. I need to get in my pajamas. I need to wash my face. I need to read my book. I need to drink some water. I need to do my PT exercises. And I wanted to be in bed by 10 o'clock, but it's 9.16. So I also wanna watch an episode of Emily in Paris. I don't know who she is. I don't know how she's doing it all but I'm probably not going to bed at 10 o'clock. <laughs> That's probably how I'm doing it all. I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna get in my jammas. I love how my makeup came out today though. This has been just like my makeup routine and I did a video of it in my February favorites. If you wanna see it, I'll link it here. But yeah, she's all natural. I don't know. I'm feeling a little chunky monkey in this outfit. Not that I feel like I look fat. I just, you know, like when you feel fat, that's been me. Ever since I haven't been able to do my regular workout routine. I also need to like prep to go to work tomorrow because I wanna wake up and I wanna do my routine because I hate going to work. And I feel like it's a less of a waste of my life when I wake up early and do the things I enjoy. I just got back from PT. My camera is not working. It keeps saying that the memory card is not working because I don't know what's happening. I wanted to show you my breakfast bake that I made. Honestly, I ate it for the first time yesterday at work. Mm, sorry. Um, it was good. It's good. I feel like I need to like finesse it though. It was a little dry. So today I put a little bit of maple syrup on it with a pinch of salt and it's a lot better. I would put like drizzled peanut butter or something on top, but I only have almond butter and it's a little too thick. So highly recommend. It's definitely filling. 
great for like on the go meal prep, but I definitely need to finesse it a little bit. And I want to try it with chocolate chips instead of blueberries because I'm just like a chocolate addict, but it is pretty good. So I will leave the recipe down below. Mike asked me, what do you hang from this? And I said a hammer <laughs> and we laughed because I said it like a weirdo. My hair feels so heavy today. Has anyone ever experienced that? I just, I feel like I put too much oil when I hair oiled and it just feels like heavy back here. And then it feels like there's hair all over me. Does anyone else relate? Even though I always have hair all over me because my hair is so long, it just feels heavier than usual. And it's making me want to chop it off. My back is killing me. My hip is killing me. PT. I love my Linda, but PT's killing me a little bit. Mike finally got home today and I am so anxious, but like also I feel so much better at the same time. It's like, you know, when just like something is so off in life and then it comes back because it's been on a little hiatus. All feels right in the world. Although I'm, I'm still anxiety, anxiety riddled. My mom and I were having a conversation last night about how my physical therapist says that I'm type A. I'm really type A. And I never realized I was type A until she told me I was type A twice. And then my mother confirmed. Also this lip oil, Honey Chalks lip oil. Look at that jutes, look at that jutes. Has anyone ever experienced a runaway lip liner? MAC lip liners, I always end up putting them in a pouch like this. And if the pouch has an opening, like my poochette, it slips right out. And it's like a run of the MAC lip liners. They are the slipperiest lip liners. This is lip oil I'm wearing. It's so good. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Why did no one tell me that I really should take the nails off? Look at how chipped, it's so nice in here. It's so warm in this office and it's so dark. <gasps> how much better do I look in this lighting? My hair is driving me nuts. Why is this nostalgic to me? It used to feel cool to have nails like this, like half chipped to death, honestly. Where is that? There's nothing even on this finger. It's terrible, but I'm not embarrassed. I feel like it adds to the vibe that I'm trying to exude. I don't, I-D-G-A-F, I don't know why. I-D-G-A-F, I don't, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying, but rock on. Although I don't feel cool, I feel, I think I have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> uh, 